discretion is advised. Howdy folks, welcome to the actual fort of Fort McCavitt. This is, uh, we, are, we are sitting in the old commanding officer's quarters. I think it was three rooms with, uh, with an upstairs. I can imagine how beautiful this building was. Well, there's a lot of history here, all the way back into the early 1800s. Not only is there beautiful wildlife, but there is a lot of history to explore. Fort McCavitt was one of the first places that the uh, Buffalo, so Buffalo soldiers came to Texas. It was one of the first places that they tried out camels in Texas. My mom and dad got married in this little Episcopal church right here. My grandmother used to teach school over here in the, in the schoolhouse. My grandmother and some of her friends and cousins started a nonprofit organization, I think in the 60s. And there was people still living in some of these officers' quarters I think all the way up until they bought them out, late 60s, early 70s. And then they took all of those deeds and gave them to the state of Texas to let it become a state park. My mom and dad were actually the ones that drove the packet of stuff down to Austin and dropped it off. So a lot of history here. This place means a lot to me. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. So I didn't think that air gunning would ever bring me to places like this, but it's really cool. I really love history and we just had to stop by and it just so happened that Matt had a lot of history with this place. He knows a lot about it. His family has been involved in this place. But they'd stack a ball and powder on top of another ball of powder yes. and they'd have a lock that slid from this position to this position mm. to the they start up here right and you fire the first ball in the barrel then you bring it back and fire the second ball and they like five or six shots or some of them had like five or six locks always find a circle. It's a circle of life. <laughs> so this morning Dana dropped an Axis book with the 45 Rattler and so we got the idea to put my optics on the gun and go back out after lunch and see if we can get a hug. I put my Ark and Zulu on the gun simply because I'm more familiar with operating it out in the field and we wanted to make sure I was able to get zero on it real easy. I put a target out at 50 yards and it's grouping minute of hog. Right here is just a small example of the damage that these hogs cause. Um, you can see this one was so big, it rushed through here and actually pulled the post up out of the ground, which was in concrete here. But when the ground is soft, um, you know, a lot of times they'll, even the axis deer, they'll jump over these fences and you'll see the tops pulled over. And you know, it's not cheap and it does take a lot of time to come out here and repair this stuff.
Right now, we're gonna go back to a spot where Dana shot at a hog last night. See if we can get set up before sundown, where we've seen a lot of activity before nightfall. Maybe we'll get lucky. Terry and I built just a quick little hide here and it's not that great but it's enough to give you a little bit of concealment because we're going to be sitting down and where the feeder is is just about 40 yards. So one of the things that I always bring with me on these trips is I bring two of these 600 watt power banks and we use them to charge our gear um, because these IR lights they eat a lot of batteries and so I'm constantly charging them when we take breaks I come back plug everything in um, these are really useful um, for bringing on these trips and and really necessary um, at least for, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of filming, um, like I do. Okay. I am. He shot this little guy from a stand uh, about 15 yards, not very far, with the uh, HPS 30. Shot him right here, just below the eye and uh, they put them down so this is 30 caliber pellet this is a uh, you know a good size pig for air rifle shooting pellets uh, had no problem uh, taking them out what I was doing. yeah <laughs>
you know, it seems like we're seeing more deer in the daytime than the nighttime, especially this morning. Um, I sat along this fence line and saw some white tail cruise by me. And of course, they're out of season right now, no big deal. And then not even five minutes later, here comes some axis deer. And uh, probably the biggest rack on an axis I've seen so far. But uh, right now, it's we're doing, we're having fun. So we got this good size antelope jackrabbit, 45 rattler. Put quite the thump down on him. But man, it is nice out here. I think the fact that it's so early, we were able to, to spot one. But there's a lot of axis deer. There are some pigs that come through here. And so my plan is just to kind of hang out on this trail, which gives us a pretty good view. I can see out to probably a hundred plus yards down this trail. And so if anything comes along here, um, we're gonna be able to spot it. Eyes, just, we'll just push it off in the dump. A can of spray foam blew up in it. She had two cans or three cans of spray foam that she had gotten from the shop in the passenger seat. And Texas summer, it was like 110 degrees, oh. and it literally blew up and just blew all in front of the car. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, and, and it was like a big wad like this. <laughs> it got all over the dash and the ceiling. Luckily, we had car seat covers on it, sheepskin seat covers. So if you're not aware, Matt is the owner of Pitbull Air Guns, and you also have a YouTube channel. We've got two actually. We've got the Pitbull Air Guns YouTube channel where we do just tuning stuff, and then I also have a channel here for at the ranch. So if you like ranch stuff, just ranch lifestyle, you can give us a follow on that. It's Talbot Lake Inheritance uh, at YouTube. And then there's Pitbull Air Guns at YouTube, so we'd love to have a follow if you want to. I know you got a lot of really cool stuff um, with the Pitbull Air Guns. You guys make moderators, you guys do modifications. Yeah, we do a lot of tuning on the Bulldog. We try to, that's kind of our thing. We take the Bulldog, turn it into a Pitbull. But uh, yeah, we, that's just our one little niche on that. We do a lot of other stuff too. Well guys, we had a fantastic time out here at the lake. You know, I really appreciate my friend Matt um, letting us come out here for a couple days and be able to film and, you know, really just come out here and have a good time. And the Rattler worked fantastic, but I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I will leave links to all the gear we used in the description. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. If you guys enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. We put out new videos every week. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one.